accelerator is powered by a hydraulic motor which accelerates the train to 82 miles per hour in only 2.3 seconds. This twin hydraulic motor reaches up to 10,500 horsepower or 7,800 kilowatts. It is capable of accelerating a vehicle up to 117 miles per hour. In order to launch, the accelerator must hook onto the catch car, which is over 7 feet long. Once connected, the motor will pull the catch car over nylon runners and launch the train. The last mechanical component of accelerator are its magnetic brakes, which stop the ride. In the initial launch, electric power is converted by the hydraulic engine into work on the nylon runners, which pull the train. Nylon runners then do work on the train, which increases its kinetic energy. This kinetic energy is then converted into gravitational potential energy as the accelerator reaches the top of its peak, which is 205 feet. All of this gravitational potential energy is then quickly changed back into kinetic energy as it goes down the hill. Now, kinetic energy is once again transferred into gravitational potential energy. And once more gravitational potential energy is transferred to kinetic energy, which once again goes to gravitational potential energy. On the last hill, as gravitational potential energy is converted to kinetic energy, the magnetic brakes apply an electromagnetic force which acts as friction. This removes all remaining kinetic energy, and the ride comes to a stop. As you ascend up the first hill, you feel a positive g-force, which means you feel heavier. At the crest of this hill, and as the hill descends, the rider feels weightlessness, or negative g-force. Up the next hill, the rider once again feels the positive g-force, and as they reach the crest of that and start going down, they feel the negative g-force. <laughs>